say move, opposite leg in front, pop it into plank, pop it back in, pop it up. That is a burpees. And keep it going. When you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. All right, you guys, I hope you're ready for this. Today, we're going to do a dumbbell height workout together. And this is going to have things in it that's not going to be so easy. So have your dumbbells or your toning weights ready. Whatever amount of weight you would like to use today for it. Check me out on my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Facebook. I have the new group called Dixie's Warriors. In parenthesis, Dixie Cuddles Fitness on Facebook. Subscribe, like, comment, and share with ones who you think would benefit from this. Let's go. Let's have some fun together. Touches in. Crossing our arms left to right, across our chest, opening up our chest and our shoulders right here. Let's keep this going. Swing. Stretch it side to side. Arms out. Bending that knee. Left to right. Let's go into a runner's lunge right here. And stretch it out. Stretch, switch sides. Come up for me. And let's do some high knees. We're warming up right here. We're going to get our heart rates up. So basically, you don't have to bring your knees up really high. I'm not asking you to do that. Just tilt your pelvic up and make sure you're running forward. Bring those knees up. Going into jumping jacks. Let's go. Jumping jacks. And jumping jacks is an easy way to warm up. I don't do this very often. I should do jumping jacks more often. Alright, let's go. First move. Let's pick up those weights. We're going to do sumo squats with curls. Stretch those legs out to the side. Come down into a sumo squat. Lift those weights up. At the same time you're squatting, you should be Make sure when you're doing your curls that you're keeping your arms pinned to your side. You don't want them bringing out to the side. Keep them nice and straight. Weights down. 30 second rest. This is a height workout. I think I forgot to tell you that at the beginning. We're going into deadlifts. Anyone who doesn't understand what deadlifts are, it's basically putting the weights out in front of you, straight down, and you're going to be bending from your waist all the way down. See how I go nice and slow? You want to try your very best to go nice and straight and not bend your back. When we go as far it is, as it is comfortable for you, you don't want any back injuries. Put those weights down, 30 second rest. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do renegade rows. rows. We're going to inch one out into plank position. Do a renegade row left and right. Inch one way back up and do shoulder presses. 
Here we go. Okay, ready? Inch one it out. Nice and straight for me. Lift. Left. Lift. Right. Walk it back. All the way into standing position. Put those weights at shoulder height. And lifting above your head. Bring it back down. And turn it out. Again, left. Right. And turn it back. Bring it up. Shoulder press. Weights down after this one. You guys are doing amazing. Hey, workouts are great because even for beginners, even when there's advanced moves because you get a break in between, makes you more confident to try those harder moves. Oh yeah, you know me. I always got to get some dancing in. Get some water if you need it. I'm going back into sumo spots and bringing their weights up into a V. I always have a hard time keeping my arms straight out in front of me. You want to keep your weights in front of you. To the side as straight as you can when you bring them up as I'm going straight in there. Okay. Let's go. Now I'm going to dim a bit. Bring those weights up. Need to reshape your bringing up towards eye level and keep it going. Thirty second rest. Get some water if you need it. The next one we are going to do for sixty seconds. Instead of taking a break in between each set, we're going to go straight one leg, left leg in front, then it's going to switch to right leg in front. Or if you want to start with your right leg, then you go to your left leg. You're going to stretch one leg in front of you with your head, the other one is going to be straight behind you. You're going to rock it forward and back, bringing that leg straight up in front of you. And straight behind you. When you go forward, the legs should be behind you, the legs should be in front of you as you come back. And keep it going. I don't know why I love doing this move so much. It's so much fun. And it works you out too. Get ready. Switch into the other leg. I'm giving you a second to get caught up. Let's go. Same move. Opposite leg in front, opposite leg in back. Alright, get ready. The next one's going to be a little bit of a doozy because you're going to keep the weights up above your head the whole entire time. You're coming down on one, bringing one knee, going down on one knee behind you, then taking the other knee behind you. You're going to double down, sitting on your knees, and then you're going to stand back up. You're doing two sets of this. We will be taking a 30 second break in between and doing another set.
Doing it again, one more time. Get ready, 30 second rest. All right, we're getting ready to do burpees with weights in our hands. So get ready. So if you don't know what a burpee is, you're going down into plank. You're coming back up out of plank and give me a nice hop. Or jump and then straight back down into plank. Pop it out. Pop it into plank. Pop it back in. Pop it up. That is a burpees. Mm -hmm. I love doing burpees. I like doing different styles of burpees. Adding stuff in with them. There's so many things you can do with a burpees move. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's get our rest in. You guys are doing amazing. I know this is kind of rough at times. We're going to go down to the floor now. So get ready. You're going to have your weights back towards your head. And we're doing a bridge with one leg in the air. And those weights to that knee. And go up in as you're going up into a burpees move. Keeping that leg high up in the air. That just makes it that much harder. If it's too hard for you to have that leg up in the air, put both legs down on the ground and continue to do the bridge. Get ready. We're going to do it one more time with the opposite leg up in the air. And again, keep both feet planted like I am planted now if you cannot handle putting the leg up in the air. Let's go. Leg raises, bridge, bring those weights down, working out our butt. Working on the shoulder and chest, working on the upper arms, and our stomach all in one move. Great job. 30 second rest. Get ready. We're going to do what is called around the world. So basically, what you're going to do is weights are going to be in your hand, they're starting up towards your chest, they're going down towards your hips. At the same time, you're going up into bridge. So when you're going towards your hips, you should be going up in the bridge. And down. Take it up, up and bridge all the way up, and you're up. Weights down to the hips, and you go down to the ground. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. Next move, we're going to do chest presses and bridge combo. So basically, we're doing a chest press with the bridge at the same time. Notice in this and workout, I do a lot of combos or supersets. I love doing those because it works out so many muscle groups all in one shot. And we can do a 10 15 minute workout, cut this in half, people. And we are still get an awesome workout in.
Next move is going to be chest flies with leg raises. Again, it's a great superset move. Works out all muscle groups. Ready? Let's go. I'm showing you right here how to do it. And bring it up. If you can't lift all the way off the ground, then you're going to do it the way that I demoed it. But if you can, try and pull your shoulders up off the ground and lift yourself towards those legs. And bring those weights into the middle of your chest. Bring them out to the side and to the middle. Next move, get ready. We're going to do our legs all the way up in the air, both weights in our hands. We're bringing one weight to one knee, other weight to the other knee, and we're crunching it up. So we're going to raise in the air. One and two. Let's go. Make sure you're doing a nice little crunch for me. Try to get up to those knees or above those knees, as far as your flexibility allow you to go. Thirty-second rest. Get some water if you need it. Yes, I just had someone ask me earlier, "Why do I look like I'm gonna pass out?" I've always had problems with not sweating like I should, so my face gets really red. Bring those knees in for me, nice and straight. One way to your hands, bring it up, crunch it up. We're doing double crunches right here with weight in our hand. I want that weight to go past those knees if you can. That's how far I want you to look up off the ground. At the same time, you're pulling those knees in towards your chin. And keep it going. Now again, we're going to bend both knees up, just like we did before. Just in this last move, same thing. Bringing those legs up, nice and straight in the air. Both weights in our hands this time. And we're going to crunch it up and tap one leg down to the ground. Ready? Let's go. going to sink those weights with whatever leg is tapping to the ground. So it's left and right. So the left arm should be moving with the left leg. Left right leg should be moving with the and right arm should be moving with the right leg. Next, we're going to do bicycle crunches with weights. So get your drink if you need a drink. And if you have not done bicycle crunches before, it's basically going to be you're going to lift up and twist to that knee. You're bringing that leg in into your elbow. You're twisting to meet that knee. But you're doing it with weights in your hand this time. And let's go. Just like that. And a nice twist. Again, it's in sync like the other one. Twisting left and twisting right. Whichever leg is extended. Bring it down. You've done great. Alright, you guys ready? 30 second rest. Then we're going to get onto our knees. And with, you're going to lift one weight in front of you. Left, knee, left weight up, left leg up. Right leg weight up, right leg up. We're going to work on our balance. But we're doing it really easy. We could be doing, I could be making you do this in plank, but I'm not. And we're going to do it sitting on our knees. Get 
Get that leg and arm out in front of you as straight as you can. The leg behind you as straight as you can. Try to point that toe. Arms you up, shoulder high. Great job. 30 second rest. We're going to go into a yoga pose that is called a boat pose. We're going right straight in front. And the lower weights are going to be to your side. Shoulder width apart. And you're going to bring it into your chest. And you're going to bring your knees in. And then we're going to lean back again at a 45 degree angle and straighten those legs out. This is a great crunch right here. I love doing this. Adding the weights. The way we're doing it works out your upper arms and your chest at the same time as you're working out your abs. 30 second rest. Okay, we're going to do something that is my favorite move. We're doing snow angels. Who didn't make snow angels in the snow when they were kids? We're doing it with weights. So that means, <laughs> there goes my water bottle. I want your weights as behind your head as far as you can. Stretching it out, stretching your legs, arms out to the sides as far as you can, just like you did when you were a kid when you made snow angels. Make sure that the abs are pulled in nice and tight. It's a great way to work out your abs, your legs, your thighs. I love this move. Again, great company. Looks like so many muscle groups. Alright, 30 second rest and we are going to do what is called a V crunch. Have you done a V in the plank? That is what we're doing. You're laying flat on the ground. And we're going up into a V-shape. That means the legs are actually nice and straight and high. Your arms are above your head. And you're going into a V-shape. Your body should be in a V-shape as you go up. Right here, I want you to hold it. Give me a nice hold, pull those stomach muscles in, hold, 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 and release. Great job. Okay. 30 second rest. I'm going to get ready for you. We're going to do on two different moves on one side and two different moves on the other side. We're getting ready to go into the side plank. And we're going to bring that weight. Up, up, up above your head and then bring it down. Give me a nice twist. You're going to make that weight kind of come all the way down like you're going to touch the mat with it and then bring it back up. Love this move. Bring it down, 30 second rest. Then we're going to do side plank with renegade rows. I love doing renegade rows and side plank. I don't know if there's something about it. It's so much fun. Stretch that neck out if you need to. Bring your 30 second break. Get some water. Stretch these shoulders out. Here we go. Bring that weight up. Up, 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 here in the side plank. Bring that weight up. Now if you notice how I'm bringing the weight up, my arm is nice and straight when I'm coming up. I'm not letting that arm go beyond behind my back. Good 
30 second rest. We're going to flip to the other side and do the same two moves we did before, but on the opposite side. Get ready. Once we finish this, we are going into cool down, guys. You did it. You got through this workout. You did amazing. Here we go. Bring it above your head. Bring it down to that mat. Twist it down to the mat. Keep it going. Come on, do not bring this in. This is your last two moves in your finish. Here we go, Renegade Rose. Woohoo! Come on, give me everything you got. Last 30 seconds, right here. Alright. Put the weights to the side. <laughs> did it. Roll that neck from side to side. Let's get a nice stretch in our neck. Push that arm in front of you, pull your fingers back towards your shoulder, and hold. You're gonna get a nice stretch in your arm. You guys are amazing. And then straight to the side in front of you, again, pull those fingers back towards you. Again, arm straight in front of you, pull your fingers back towards your shoulder. Turn your hand in front of you and again pull it back. One of the stretches stretches out your upper arm, the other stretches out your lower. Alright, I want your hands, palms facing up towards the ceiling, and you're going into child's pose. Lean back into it, touch your nose to the ground if you can, and just relax. Deep breath in, deep breath out. You did great. Lean all the way up to the sky, stretch it up. Arms above his head. Do a nice stretch. Stretch it out down in front of you. Arms way up again in back of you. Try to, your nose is facing towards the floor. Nice and straight. Press the arm across, looking over the opposite shoulder, with your hand stretching out towards. 
I need to stretch those shoulders out. Arm behind you, try to touch the opposite shoulder. They can't just touch where you are able to comfortably touch. Getting those triceps stretched out. Other side, same thing. Um, cross body, like in the opposite direction of the arm. Touching the opposite shoulder if you possibly can. Oh, then, uh, that neck again. Oh, the shoulders, the left. And right, so keep going the shoulders back. Kind of pull them up towards your ears, you're rolling it back. Get a nice wide stretch in your shoulders. <laughs> Alright, stretch both shoulders. And they just finished a dumbbell workout. I hope that you enjoy this workout and hope it gives you revved up and motivated for your day to help you face whatever is coming today. Thank you so much for choosing me. There's so many trainers out there that you could pick and choose from, but the fact that you chose to work out with me today means the world to me. Thank you so much for your for everything, for all of your support. Please go check me out on my Instagram, Dixie Cuddles Fitness underscore Dixie Cuddles underscore fitness. Check me out on my Twitter as Dixie Cuddles. Check me out on my TikTok as Dixie Cuddles. So go into my Facebook and check out the group Dixie Cuddles Fitness. Dixie's Warriors. Dixie Cuddles Fitness. Dixie Cuddles Warriors. Dixie Cuddles Fitness on you on Facebook. Whatever you do, keep moving, keep eating healthy, and don't ever give up. Thank you for everything that you always do for me. And make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share with ones who you know could benefit from this workout. Have a wonderful day.